10 tips to avoid worry. One, use the law of averages to outlaw your worries. Do you know that statistics suggest that 95% of everything that persons worry about never actually happens? Therefore, we spend a lot of time and energy being concerned about something that will never become a reality. So, ask yourself, what's the likelihood of this thing happening? And of course, if it seems very likely, still don't worry, plan for it. Two, Cooperate with the inevitable. There are some things we can't change. There are some things we can't stop. And no amount of worry will make a difference. Well, not a positive difference. It will only make a bad situation worse. So, if it is inevitable, work with it. As we would say in Jamaica, walk with it. Yes. Work with it. It will not kill you. It will make you stronger. Oh, and by the way, aren't we children of God? So if we were even to die, didn't Paul say to die is gain? Hmm. Three, do not try to get even with your enemies. Remember the Bible says, bless them that curse you. Do good to them that despitefully use you. Remember, the Beatitudes, the blessed attitudes that lead to happiness. Feed your enemies. By doing so, you heap coals of fire on their heads. Do not render evil for evil, but overcome evil with good. Do not let the wicked make you wicked. And the scripture says, Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. I will repay. And when God repays your enemies, you could never do a better job. Four, don't look for gratitude. Do good as unto the Lord. Expecting nothing in return. That way, you will get your reward from God. And you will not be distressed when others fail to show gratitude. Number five. Count your blessings, not your troubles. Too often, we count our troubles and not our blessings. And so even though we have more blessings than troubles, our lives seem to be full of troubles because that's what we focus on. Remember, what you look for, you will see. So let's count the blessings. Six, do not try to be others. You will never be great at being someone else. You are special. You were uniquely designed. There is a reason that there is no factory that mass produces us. You are beautifully and wonderfully made. Be the best version of you that you can be. And that's what this world needs. Seven, try to profit from your losses. If you have suffered loss, let there be a lesson. 
so that the loss is simply the tuition fee you pay for that course. Yes, profit from your loss. Become greater from your failure. And then you will never have to live in regrets or worry. Eight, create happiness for others. Let your life be about more than you. Seek the good of others, scripture says. Work to make others happy. You will be amazed at how happy that makes you. Nine, don't worry about criticism. Do your best at all times. Analyze and critique yourself. And remember, unjust criticism is often a disguised compliment. And finally, number 10, pray. Pray without ceasing with prayer and supplication. Make your requests known unto the Lord. Ask and it shall be given. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Pray believing and God will take care of the rest. Trust God and live. God bless you. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And for more, join us at 9 a.m. on Sunday mornings at 10 Union Square, Crossroads. If you can't be there in person, join us virtually via Facebook Live.